In Blackboard 9, there are three new ways that make it very quick and easy for you to work with files. If we go into one of my Blackboard courses, in this case the test course, and go into a content area, this course information area currently has nothing in it, and if we click to add content, so I'm going to click to add an item, and we'll see how to attach files to this item. So if we just call this temporary, and going down here, we can choose to attach a file here and within the text of the item, or we can attach the file through clicking on Browse My Computer or Browse Course. If we click on Browse your, My Computer, you can navigate your computer to find the files that you want to attach. So here I'm going to attach Blackboard 9 getting started with a PDF. We can edit how the link appears for students to view. So I can change from the actual name that's there and just edit it a little bit here. I can also click on Browse My Computer a second time and upload a second file. And I can repeat this as often as I want. Scrolling down and hitting Submit, this does two things. It creates the item with the attached files, but it also puts these attached files in a central file storage area for this course. If I go to build, um, rather than building another item, let's edit this item. So editing this item allows me to browse my computer and add more files, but also I can browse the course and I can see that the two files I've uploaded plus two previously uploaded files are available within the course files section. So I'm going to link to Joe's essay as well. Click Submit and now I've linked Joe's essay which is a Word document. I can also, as part of this process, remove the link to any files that were previously attached. The, this doesn't remove the files from the central file storage area, it just removes the link on this item. Hit Submit and our updated item now links to Joe's essay and one of the two PDFs. An alternative way to uploading files into your Blackboard course is to go to the control panel and in the files section choose the name of the course, the banner code for your course. This will list all the files on your course. In this case you can delete individual files. So for example if I want I could delete the PDFs. I can also choose to upload files and choosing to upload files allows me to upload individual or multiple files. For multiple files, I'm just going to uh, allow Java to run. And here, I can drag and drop from Windows Explorer. So let's open Windows Explorer here. And, and going to a folder with some files, I'm going to drag these three files over. And just going over to my browser, I'm going to just drop them in here. And so here are my three files and I can upload all three in one go by hitting Submit. Now notice, one of the files already exists. If I choose to overwrite it, then the file will be replaced with the updated version and all links to that file will be preserved within the Blackboard course. So if you're updating notes from one year to another and you have the notes of the same file name, you can put in the new versions and the links that you had previously to those files will be preserved and so I updated my files and now I have the three PDFs plus these two files. The third way in which you can work with files is to set up a web folder and I'll show you how to do that in a separate video.